friends. Today's lesson is for Module 1, Lesson 19. Our learning goal for today says, I can count objects to seven, ooh, seven, and create something to show seven. Okay, counting to seven is a big deal. That's a huge number. I mean, by the time you get to seven, you'll probably be a first grader. So, awesome. Let's start by counting to seven first because it's such a big number. Today we're going to use our counting sticks or as regular people who aren't doing math call them, our fingers. I have my little pumpkin here. He's going to help us out. So he's going to show you how to start your fingers counting with one. Can you match your fingers to show one? Now as we count on to seven, we're going to put up a finger each time. I'm going to go slowly to begin with so you can make sure you match my little sweetheart's hands, okay? So here we go. Everybody should have your fingers up showing one. We're going to say one together, and then we're going to count on until we get to seven. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Watch what happens here because you ran out of fingers. Six. Oh, get that other finger. Get that other thumb in action. And seven. Good job. Friends, what happened when we filled up that five? Yeah, we had to go to our other hand to help us count out, right? We got to keep going unless someone has some bonus fingers on their hands. All right, go ahead and shake your fingers out. They've been working hard. Close them back up to a fist. We're going to start with our zero, and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to count one more time with our fingers, but a little bit faster, okay? So here we go. When I tap on the picture, we're going to start with one. Go. One two, three, four, five, six, seven. Excellent job. All right, so we're counting objects to seven today. Oh, shake out your fingers. Sorry, they've been working. Okay, we're going to start by counting from one to seven, which we did, and we're going to be counting objects today, which we just did because we used our fingers as our objects. Let me see if I have any other objects around here we can count. Oh, yeah, we can count using my beautiful beans that are so helpful. All right, beans, come on out to play. Hang on, beans. There they are. All right, perfect. Okay, beans, you know what? I cannot handle the mess that you are in today because I want to count to seven, but I want to do it a little bit more organized than just being zigzaggy dot to dots. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to build an array. Okay, so here we go. Now watch what I do because it should remind you of your fingers. Watch how I organize my beans in my array and it's gonna match our fingers in some way. You try to figure out what I'm thinking, okay? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven. Ooh, who can tell me what did I just do when I made my array? Think of your fingers. Yeah, I made the beans match our fingers. Remember, we had one hand that went all the way to five. And then we needed the other hand to show six and seven. Right? I organized my pictures to match my counting six. Five, six, seven. Why do you think I did that, friends? Just because I like our fingers? Because it's tricky. I mean, you know me. I love to stay organized, right? Definitely is to stay organized. See, if I put five in a nice wrong, long row, and then I do the other two in the next row of my array, then if I do that every single time, I know that this is a group of five. And I could just say five and then count on six, seven. It also matches my fingers which will help me to think of the number seven as the parts of five and two. Whew, this is some big time stuff. But you know, you're doing amazing though. Are you ready for kind of like a little mini challenge? Ooh, I knew you would be. Okay, all right, all right, so shake out your fingers. Here we go. What if I gave you the number six? And I said, friends, I need to know how many beans I need to add to six to get to seven. It's the same thing as saying one of the parts is six. What's the other part? All right, let's use our fingers to help us figure it out. Go ahead and put up six. How many more fingers do we need to add to make seven? 
Yeah, one. That means we just need to add one more bean. Let's count. Six, seven. You do it. Six, seven. Yeah, just one more bean. Because if we had six, we put up one more finger, we would have seven. All right, tricky, tricky, tricky. What if I did this? Ooh, a dot card. What do I need to first figure out, friends? Yeah, how many dots are on that card? Who can tell me how many dots are on that card? Four. Excellent job. Let's count. One, two, three, four. Excellent. There's four right there. I'm going to go ahead and put four up on my fingers. You do it too. All right, this is going to be hard, so you might need your neighbor to help you. But if you have four, how many more do you need to add to get to seven? You try to figure it out and let me know. And how many did I need to add? What's the other part of seven? <gasps> oh my goodness, did you say three? Watch this. Four, five, six, seven. Three is totally right. One of the parts is four and the other part is three. I use the dot card, counting on, and my fingers to help me figure that out. How did you figure it out? What strategy did you use? Oh, yeah, I love that. Oh, we are so good. I'm so impressed. Okay, one more. I'm not going to even help you out on this one, okay? <laughs> You're on your own. What if I got out totally different materials? My blocks. What if I have those good counting cubes? All right, what do you notice about my counting cube, my tower so far? How many uh, cubes are in my tower? You're never going to believe this, friends. You're right. It's five. Okay, we should know from our hands and our pictures, how many more counting cubes do I need to add in order to get to seven? If I have five, how many more? Two, yes! Watch this, five, six, seven. Oh, I like that. You know, I'm gonna add it to my counting cube tower so I can have the tallest tower. Five, six, Seven. Friends, why do you think I didn't make them all the same color? Ooh, this one's hard. Why do you think I didn't make them all pink? Why did I why do you think I switched up with the white ones? Yes! Oh my goodness, you know me so well because I can clearly see the five are right there, and then I added two more to it, just like on my counting sticks or my fingers. Five were on one hand, and then two more were on the other. Man, oh man, that also shows the different parts of seven, five, and two. We are just so good at seven. Can I just say, are we sure we're not in first grade yet? Okay, okay, good. Yeah, don't rush it, don't rush it. Okay, so our learning goal for today said, I can count objects to seven and create something to show seven. Now, what I would like you to do is I want you to show me seven. You can show me in any way. You can show me with counting six. You can show me with objects in your classroom. You can show me with people. I don't know. Anything you want. I want to see seven in some kind of a way. All right? And this is how you draw seven. Seven, super fun. He kind of has a, a hat and then a slant. So look, at he goes straight across and then diagonal down. Get your good finger. Can you make a seven in the air? Straight across and then diagonal down. Go for it. Good job. All right. I can't wait to see a good picture of your seven. Good luck, friends.